What's up brand builders, Stephen Hurahan here at brandmasteracademy.com and in this video you're going to learn what an endorsed brand <laughs> is including pros, cons and examples. So you can better understand this brand architecture strategy which offers freedom on one side and safety on the other. Now, if you're new to the channel and you wanna build brands that go beyond the visuals using strategy, psychology, and creative thinking, then you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. If you wanna fast track your results, make sure you grab the Pro Brand Strategy Blueprint. It's a free download and the link is in the description. Now, endorsed brands or endorsed branding is a term that you may or may not have heard of before, but it is a brand architecture strategy that allows brands with an existing reputation and brand equity to introduce new brands into the market and give them a leg up and an unfair advantage. Now, in order to understand endorsed brands, you need to understand the world that they live in and brand architecture is that world. Now, brand architecture is just an organizational structure that allows brands to organize a portfolio of products, services, or separate entities into sub-brands. Now, whether these sub-brands are different entities or not, Brand architecture allows for distinguishing between those products, services, or entities from anything from the name of the product or services right up to market segmentation and positioning strategy. So what is an endorsed brand then? Well, an endorsed brand similar to a house of brands or a branded house is just a simple organizational structure. Now, what's unique about this structure is that it allows the endorser brand which is the parent brand, also known as the endorser brand, to offer the reputation and the equity that it has built up while offering the independence for that brand to go out and do its own thing. So essentially, an endorsed brand has a foot in each camp. It has the best of both worlds, being able to go out and express itself with freedom and independence while also having that safety net of the parent or endorser brand. Now, when it comes to the visual identity of the endorsed brand, these are usually very unique, very independent and distinguishable from the parent brand. And the reason for this is that they're usually targeting very specific segments of the market or completely different markets altogether. So anything from the logo to the typography, the color palette, the image style, iconography, graphics or illustrations are all unique to the endorsed brand. And the only similarities that you will see across these endorsed sister brands are the reference to that parent brand with the parent brand's logo on there throughout the identity. So why would a brand use an endorsed brand strategy? Well, strategies exist to navigate different problems. Um, when it comes to brand architecture and brands that have a portfolio of products or services or different entities, they need to decide what kind of structure is suitable for them. Now, these structures, these brand architecture structures, range from completely independent to completely dependent, and the endorsed brand strategy sits somewhere in between, so they have a foot in each camp, and it allows the endorsed brand to have that freedom to go out and express itself while also having the safety of the parent brand. Now, some of the advantages of the endorsed brand strategy I've already covered from that freedom and independence to that safety, but when it comes to brand awareness, an endorsed brand is not trying to establish brand awareness from ground zero. It is leveraging that brand equity and that reputation to raise its awareness in the market and really get a leg up and a foothold and an unfair advantage in the market. And then when it comes to marketing as well, enhanced marketing efforts and marketing efficiency is one of the benefits for endorsed brands, being able to combine efforts with either the parent brand or any sister brands that it might have a relationship with. But the endorsed brand is not without its disadvantages. Having that relationship with the parent brand and those sister brands means that any kind of negative PR from any of those brands can hamper the growth of that particular brand. Also, having that relationship with the parent brand means that it only has so much freedom. It has to fall in line with what the parent or endorser brand has as its values and its beliefs. It can't go off and completely do its own thing, change the values because there would be a misalignment with the parent brand. And also complicated chain of commands as well, making decisions, making quick decisions, being able to be nimble as an independent brand is a little bit more complicated having that relationship with that parent brand. 
So let's have a look at an endorsed brand strategy. Now, Nestle is what you would call a hybrid when it comes to brand architecture because it is both a house of brands and an endorser brand. It has a portfolio of brands that is pretty broad, which includes brands that are well established in the market that it doesn't endorse in a traditional sense, which includes Nescafe, Nespresso, San Pellegrino, Perrier, and many, many more. Now, as an endorser brand, Nestle is the picture perfect example of how this strategy should be executed. They bring to the table a huge amount of brand equity and reputation, but they've also established endorsed brands in their prospective markets as big hitters in and of themselves, and they include KitKat, Milky Way, Smarties, Nesquik, and many more. Now, when you wade into the world of brand architecture, you'll realize there are many strategies at your disposal. But it's all about understanding that market landscape, the competitors that live there, what your audience wants, and weighing up the pros and cons of a given strategy. But certainly when it comes to the endorsed brand strategy, having a foot in each camp, having that safety and independence on one side, and that safety on the other is a massive advantage. Now, if you wanna understand the world that endorsed brands live in and what brand architecture is, well then this video with world-class examples will help you out. Until next time, brand like a master, and I'll see you in the next video.